So I'm going to suggest this. You need someone else to look at them because as uh, as you travel around, you see people wow. accept what I've got. They accept it and they set a level for themselves and say, this is as good as it's going to be. But mm-hmm. if you get someone, in a, a specialist in who's maybe good at sound uh, and look at that and go, well, we could do this and it won't be that much money. You'll honestly find that. Yeah. Uh, and so I would honestly, if, you, if you're upset or frustrated with your own facility, uh, get don't just look at it in yourself and rely on your own expertise. Mm. You need to get people in who can help you and look at it in a new fresh eyes. And we've done so many renovations along the way. Like so 100%, 100%. many. So many. Like before building a building, we were yeah. having to just work with what we had but renovate what we had. Absolutely. For a very low budget. And so it's just there's just a journey that you need to do. But there's just I think that's just been a, one of the biggest challenges. So it's, it's the Jethro principle. You're gonna need to invite Jethro's in who saw Moses, Ooh. looked at what he's doing and said Right. This is this is not right. You shouldn't this be is doing not this. Right. This is not right. Let, yeah. Do this, do this, do this. And it makes us, it'll make your life easier. I promise it. <laughs> your life will become easier if someone goes, well, you could do this here. And it will make, what my suggestion is, you want technology to get out of the way so it becomes mm. a blessing and it can help you minister. Uh, and I'm talking, it, like, because sometimes technology just gets in the way. It's a problem. It's annoying. <laughs> something breaks. And honestly, if it's, but if it's out of the way and you don't have to think about it and it just works, you are able to do what God wants you to do in a much, yeah. so much simpler way. Yeah.